guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a really quick haul from Tom Thumbs. Now, depending on what region of the country you're in, this is also called, well, Tom Thumb is also known as Randall's and Safeway and Albertsons. So I will jump right in. I spent about $52 on everything that you see here. So I'll start up here with the pineapple. It was on sale for 99 cents, so I grabbed that. I don't really care for fresh pineapple, but my husband does, so I got it for him. And what I'm gonna do is let it continue to ripen up a little bit, and then I will cut it up and put it in the um, refrigerator for him. I'll cut, him up, cut it up and put it in Tupperware. Then I also got um, some, uh, well actually just one broccoli crown. That was 72 cents. And I got a sweet potato because I am going to, I'm thinking of making some sweet potato pies. So um, I already have one in the refrigerator and I needed one more. Right there, I have some Pillsbury pie crust. Now these were on sale for $2.49 each, which is a steal if you've ever bought these before. So I grabbed two. And then I also grabbed some of this shredded cheese. Now typically I do prefer the block cheese, but these are some flavors that I have not seen before. So I wanted to take advantage of that. And these were actually three for $5. And then as you can see, there is a coupon on there for a dollar off any two. And I totally forgot to um, take it off and give it to the cashier. So these are three for five and I got Taco Bell Zesty Ranch, which is um, Monterey Jack cheese with ranch seasoning. Then I got the Kraft Expertly Paired, and this is for pasta dishes. It is provolone and mozzarella. And then the last Taco Bell seasoning is the Salsa Verde, which I love Salsa Verde, but this is Monterey Jack cheese, uh, sharp white cheddar, mild cheddar, and Salsa Verde seasoning. Then I got some Innovation General Tso's chicken, and this was on clearance. It was on clearance for $4.27, and I think the original price was $4.99. Then I grabbed some of my favorite frozen egg rolls. They have vegetable and pork. I prefer the pork, and these are really good, but they are hard to find. They're like unicorns, so if you see them, grab them because it seems like whenever they stock them, they go pretty fast. And it tells you what's in there, uh, tender pork and vegetables. And they're really good. I really like these a lot. They also had a sale on Land O'Lakes butter. And so whenever I see butter on sale, I always grab it. So they were two for $5. So um, what I'll probably do is just stick these in my freezer because you really can't beat $2.50 on Land O'Lake. Because I think even in Walmart, the regular price for these, um, I think it's maybe five bucks in Walmart. And then they had Crescent Rolls and Pillsbury Cinnamon Rolls on sale for 99 cents as well. So I grabbed two Crescent Rolls. And then right back here, I had a free coupon for tomato basil pasta sauce. Actually, it was for any pasta sauce, any of the organics, and I chose the tomato basil because the expiration date was so far out. As you can see, it is in 2021, so I grabbed that. Um, I saw these breadsticks, and I've been eyeing them for a while, and I finally decided to give them a try, and they look pretty good. So normally I like my garlic bread, my um, Texas toast, and I've never had the breadsticks outside of Olive Garden, but I decided I wanted to give these a try. And then I got some Sister Schubert's Cloverleaf Dinner Rolls for Easter. Now I usually buy um, the Sister Schubert's, just the regular yeast rolls that you can take from the freezer and throw them on a baking sheet and bake them. So these, they actually say that you should let them thaw out if you can. That's the preferred baking method. And so they were on sale, I think for $3.99. So I grabbed a package of those. 
and these red robin steak fries were an impulse buy so these fr these fries are um if you red robin is a restaurant and so these are their supposedly variety of the frozen seasoned fries and so i got a package um, of these and these were i think 247 and like i said they were being clearanced out speaking of clearance items um, I got some meat on clearance, so I got this package of meat, and it was originally um, eight patties for 10 bucks, and so I got it for 50% off right here, manager special, so I got eight patties for five bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. And I also got some boneless, skinless, thinly sliced chicken breast fillets, and so I have a recipe that called for thinly sliced um, chicken breast, so that's why I picked these up. But again, these were on clearance and they were 50% off of the lowest price. So these were a little over 250, and then this one um, was half of that 479. And then the last of the meat that I picked up are these pork shoulder blade steaks, and this is a value pack. Howard and I do like these, 382, um, 1.6 pounds, and there are, looks like two big um, pork steaks in there. So we're gonna throw these on the grill at some point. And then I grabbed a couple of things as I was standing in line um, at the checkout. So I saw these um, animal cookies, vanilla, and they were on sale for 79 cents, so I grabbed a package because I wanted to see what they tasted like. And then, again, this was an impulse buy. I've never had this before, and actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to like cookie butter. Um, these are served with breadsticks, so we'll see. I think these were $1.79, but I do like Biscoff, um, but I have not tried the cookie butter. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about the texture. I hear it's like peanut butter, so it might be okay, but I'm just not sure. So anyway, this is the haul. Like I said, it's very short, very sweet, but I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so. And if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.